Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to VM Insights. So, in this video we will see how to enable VM Insights using the Azure portal for the Azure Virtual Machine. You can follow the same procedure to enable VM Insights for Azure Virtual Machine scale set, hybrid virtual machines connected with Azure Arc. So, there are some prerequisites to enable and to start that let me log on to the portal and take it from there. To the portal, I'll create one uh, log uh, analytic workspace. In the search, I'll do log here. It is log analytics workspace. I'll click on it. Okay, I'll create here by clicking here create log analytic workspace. I'll select the resource group. Test as a log workspace. Sorry for the caps. I'll go with East US tags. No review create. I'll click on create. It is creating a log workspace. Next, you need to check the supported operating system. You have to check and uh, manage the Azure monitor agent for prerequisite related to monitoring agent. Deployment is in progress for the log workspace. Let me pause the video and come back. Okay, my okay, my deployment is completed. I'm going to go to resource. Now, I'll go to, let me open up. Okay, I'll go to the Azure monitor. Click on here and you see the insights option here on the left side. You click on virtual machines. It says enable VM insights, enable insights, configure insights, analyze data, create alerts. I'll say configure insights. It will list uh, like what all, uh, what all VMs have VM insights enabled not enabled, workspace configuration, other onboarding options, enable for a single VM, right? It says use not monitor tab to identify and enable insights for Azure VMs. You will need contributor access on the VM and log and contributor access on the resource group of your chosen workspace. Absolutely. So I will do, if you see not monitored, you click on enable, not enable, or you can do it from here as well. It will bring you to this option. Right, you click enable here. Get more visibility into the health and performance of your virtual machine. With an Azure virtual machine, you get the host CPU disk up down state of your VMs out of the box. Enabling additional monitoring capabilities provides insights into the performance and dependencies for your virtual machines. You will be built, you will be built based on the amount of data ingested and your data retention settings, it can take between 5-10 minutes to configure the virtual machine and the monitoring data to appear. You click on enable here. Azure monitor agent, it will be, it is the recommended option to use Azure monitor agent which and data collection rule here. I am going with the default. Uh, this is my, okay, why am I, why is it? creating okay so if i do log analytics agent here right now it will give me the uh, workspace here the one that i created right and if you would see the here if you see the data collection rule it says guest performance enabled more processes and dependencies disabled right and if you want this configuration you click on configure here to start the agent installation or select a different data collection rule from the top down or you can create a new rule here as well in which you can enable the processes and dependencies Right. And if you want, like I said, different configuration, you create it and you, let's say I want it. So, I will do 
data collection rule. It will be here log workspace. This is the one that I created. So MSV VM1 is always appended or added before the name. Right. There are two ways you can use the Azure monitor agent recommended, right? They are using, or if you want to enable uh, the VM insights for log analytics agent, you would select this and then you will click on configure. Okay. Let's say I'm going with the Azure monitor recommended. I'm using this uh, data rule in which I have enabled processes and dependencies. This will also enable system assigned managed identity. In addition uh, to the existing user assigned identities, right? So there will be a managed identity, system managed identity that will enable the, that will install the monitor, Azure monitor agent on my VM so that I don't have to manage it. Azure at the backend will manage it. So if you click on configure, it is initializing the deployment for Azure monitor agent. Like I said, if you want to go with log analytics agent, you can change it you can configure it and then you can deploy that as well it says the map date the map data set collected with azure monitor for vms is intended to be infrastructure data about the resources being deployed it is submitting the deployment deployment is in progress here if you see this section right See this section, bad drawing. You see this notification tab, right? And you click on it, it will show you here. So you will see this. Okay, it will take five, 10 minutes as mentioned. I was reading the documentation as well. So. I will pause this video here or I'll stop this video here. This is how you do it. In the next video, we'll see how do you, you know, analyze data. And we'll discuss few other aspects as well. We'll see how we use uh, VM insights map. We'll see uh, how we see Azure VM performances to identify bottlenecks. Overall utilization deployment is succeeded, but I believe it will take five, 10 minutes to ingest that data. So non monitor shows zero now. And if, if I check monitored, it is showing me guest VM health is not enabled. Data collection rule is this. It will take its time, right? So this is how you enable VM insights on your virtual machine. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.